All right, welcome back. So we're gonna go ahead and um, see what's going on with this heat pump here. Definitely hear a humming, so we know we got high voltage, but I always like to be 100% on that. Let's see here. Stairs and heat, and it's not calling. Fans not even turning, running. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, check our bolts. Let's mean. Let's check our G. Nothing. R. Nothing. Fuse looks good, but definitely see it's been it's arced there. Let's check the voltage coming in. Got 20, 28 volts going in, so I'm thinking this fuse is bad. Doesn't look bad, it looks actually good. Let's check our resistance. a bad fuse so yeah don't get pulled by the look of a fuse you always want to check your resistance and that's a prime example of that because visually inspecting it you would have swore that was a good fuse you can see where the thing arced out though pretty badly let's go ahead and short finder on there. probably just arced out all this you know vibration going on in here so yeah let me go grab that uh see if I can find a wheel for this thing and get her swapped out all right so we got it looking good Let's see if we can get this thing locked out power off. Let's double check that one. Good. Let's go. 
Ones on the other. The thing about these, well, you can see it's it's loose. But sometimes you won't be able to tell how loose it is because. It only it will only um, spin free when it's got a lot of torque on it. But yeah, that one is very loose. So what we're gonna do now? Set screw. Take that out. Nice and loose, perfect. And so far I'm liking this bit pretty well. do really to take these out move these two screws like such make that three screws
seš. So that did it. Fired up, running smoothly, as you can see. So definitely heating. We're good to go. And no storage. Alright, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.